Alright, how y'all doing out there tonight? My name's Ped Killer, and it is that time again, my friends. Sorry I didn't, um, didn't uh, post last night, uh, wasn't uh, feeling too, uh, well, I, I just was really exhausted and wasn't, uh, wasn't feeling it, just really tired, and I really didn't think I could give you guys a good show. Um, but, be that as it may, or not be that as it may, depending on how you view my content, I am here tonight, and tonight we're going to be talking about, well, you know, I mean, it's titled Rona, uh, the Roner, you know, and uh, talks and science, and uh, but it's kind of just been the attitude that I've been seeing out there. Um, I just kind of want to talk about it because it's something that it's really been bugging me and I just have to get it off my chest, uh, at least for my sake. I mean, I mean, and this is kind of an impromptu rant. So I, um, so sit back and I mean, y'all know what that means. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and get on into it. All right. So I'm sitting here and for the past few weeks, right, I've noticed, I've noticed that people online, whether it be political cartoons, memes, whatever, um, hell, even the way people are just talking to each other about these issues, whether it be on the news, whether it be in public, like literally motherfuckers walking down the street, right? Motherfuckers walking down the street, you know, talking to each other like this, right? And it's kind of the way we talk to each other about our disagreements. Let's be honest here. There's quite a big divide in our country, right? Um, people who are on one side, who the fuck cares what we call it, but people on one side believe position A, and people on the other side believe um, position B. Now, honestly, I could give a fuck less about what you think about these issues, right? I mean, I don't want to sound like an asshole, but I honestly, it does not matter what I think either, right? Who cares what the hell I believe? For a moment, let's just talk about this, right? Say... You're trying to convince somebody that, hey, hey, bud, you know, you may not be doing the right thing here, right? Hey, you may not want to be using, or you may want to wear the wear a mask, or you may want to get vaccinated, or, you know, get the poke, whatever. Or, on the other side of this issue, it would be... Um, oh, you don't need to wear a mask, so oh, you don't need to get the vaccine. Well, I mean, honestly, most people I know who are against the vaccine do it out of the, just do out of the rebelliousness of, well, you're telling me I have to have it, so fuck you. I mean, and this is, now, now there are the fucking crazies out there who go, oh, it's fucking, you know, microchips and all that bullshit. Um, and those people exist, just like there are people who are on the other side of the spectrum who are saying, holy shit, we're, our, our intestines are going to turn into liquid shit if you don't go out there and get your fucking vaccine and, get, and wear your fucking mask. And what this does is this ends up polluting the discussion to where we can't even talk about it. And it makes the people on one on. It makes all the people on that one side, even the people who are more towards maybe the middle, um, go, well, fuck. Maybe I just need to agree with the guy who's screaming about microchips because you're saying I fucking have to now. Instead of you guys being able to hash some shit out, go, well, you know what? Hey, we would like it if you would do this. You don't have to, but hey, we've, we, you know, let's let's talk about this. And I think that's a, I think that's a more reasonable thing than to fucking put out a goddamn um, cartoon or a meme or uh, or shout stalk somebody in public for not wearing a mask, you know, or to put out a meme showing, you know, 
Um, fuck, what was one of it I saw somebody put? Like, oh yeah, oh yeah. Like, get this, right? They fucking put um, sheep wearing masks, right? And they show, they're like, oh, these are the, the, these are the normal people. Conservatives. And it shows a bunch of lions, you know, raw from Lion King, you know. And then it says conservatives, you know, in a few weeks. And it shows Mufasa dead on the ground with Simba, you know, uh, basically saying because they didn't wear their fucking mask, you know, they got COVID and died. I've seen other similar political cartoons that, and, and people stalking other people and shouting them down and, or not shouting them down, chasing them down and, and saying similar shit. And it's like, how the fuck is that going to actually, how's that going to win somebody over to your side? Because honestly, the train of thought I go is, huh, I'm still fucking kicking. So I guess, it, I, I guess they are full of shit. I don't have to listen to them. And, you know, a lot of people, you know, new people who who uh, ritualistically wore the mask, they got the poke, They, but they still got it. You know, there's some people who, you know, so instead of having a rational discussion, instead of saying, hey, let's talk about this like bloody effing adults, we just go, hey, you're gonna die, <laughs> and I and I saw I saw some chick losing her. Sorry, there's a fly in here. Some chick losing her shit, right? And her uh, her the way she ends it is is I hope you and your kid, your fu- your sorry, your effing kid, who are trying to play in this park, go get COVID, suffer and die. Because she was mad that they wouldn't put on a face mask. <laughs> the levitating Dr. Pepper. Thank you. Welcome. Love you. Love you. And I've seen I've seen people on the other side of this issue do the same fucking thing. They'll run in, mob a fucking grocery store with their mask, and be all be all disobedient, refuse to leave, which is a crime, by the way. If some place tells you you have to leave, you have to leave. There's civil disobedience, and then there's breaking the law. And they're not proving anything. All they're proving is that people who are on their side of the issue are a bunch of fucking assholes. It doesn't show that, oh, you know, this is my, the right side of the issue. It doesn't show that, oh, maybe, you know, there's more nuance to it than just some whatever they're trying to fucking prove. All they show is, wow, you know, the, the anti-maskers are assholes. So, I don't think any, I, there, any way you slice it, it doesn't look good. It doesn't... You're not fooling any, or you're not winning anybody to your side. All you're doing is, the the sycophants on your side of the aisle end up going, oh yeah, you go get them, Tiger. And I guess if that's what you're looking for, you know, fine. If you're if you're really wanting validation from an echo chamber, not even an echo chamber, fuck. I mean, at least an echo cha- chamber would would be like, whoa, that's a little distasteful, bud. But we tend to forget that the that the people we're arguing with are fucking human. They deserve fuck, not 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 even deserve. If you really give a shit about them enough, and this is then let them be. Let and just politely go here's a, here's another way. It's the same shit I say to to the diehard Christians who, who who bash on gays. I'm like, dude, leave them the fuck alone. If you honestly believe that they're gonna what burn in hell, or whatever, let God sort them out. I mean, the Christian Bible says, hey, you know, love love your neighbor. It doesn't doesn't say hate on them until they think the way you do. 
But I think that's part of the hypocrisy of everything. Is initially this comes from comes from a place of I, I would think empathy. I would hope, but it's not even I can't even say self preservation, because if it was self preservation, then if it was self preservation in in this pandemic they would leave they they would fucking just exit, you know? They would exit the situation. They'd run for the fucking hills. But they don't. You know, and same with uh same with uh, the other side of this issue. If they were really concerned about their ma, ma liberties, you know, they would go and move somewhere that doesn't have a mask mandate. You know, and I'm sure, I know in some states you'd have to completely leave the fucking state, but, you know, some people do that. And, but, you know, I also live in a state where everything is kind of county to county or city to city. Like the, for, for a lot, while there, the county I lived in, there was no mandates or whatever, but at the end of the, um, it, it was basically down to the city. So the city I lived in, though, had had a mandate, and I was like, "Oh fuck, I I can't wait till I go over to, over to fucking Westmoreland because, you know, I can actually walk around without a fucking mask on." Oh, sorry. Anyway. I guess what I'm ta- what I'm saying is, is we need to I mean especially when one thing that I was always taught when I was young is this country was like a big family. We fuck with each other a lot. We do. Punch, kick and pull each other's hair from time to time like all siblings do. But, you come and fuck with my brother or my sister, game on. We're closing ranks, we're fucking your world up. Like, that's that's the way I viewed this country. And, and it honestly is backed up by a lot of history. I mean, it's how we were founded. You know, we had a lot of issues. We all came together, we whooped Britain's ass. They came back around, and we whooped them again. You know? And so... And then fucking, like, you know, World War II came around. They tried to fucking get all angsty, and we fucking came as a country and said, fuck you, you know? And I know that's a big time jump there, but <laughs> um, I'm just trying to hurry through that. But we... Tragedy. Strife. This is supposed to be something that galvanizes us as a people and brings us together. Not let it divide us. Not let it push us farther apart. Why does it do that? I don't know. I mean, I don't have an answer for you. All I can... All I can do is say, holy shit, this is fucked up. And we need to do something about it. You know, I I think that's also the the what's what's sad about it all, right? Is it's not just you know during strife we're turning on each other, but I just kind of want to imagine, you know, we'll take we'll we'll, we'll take this pandemic for instance when it's all said and done. Because eventually it will be over, right? Even influenza, while we still get the flu, it's not what it used to be, right? Same thing with the bubonic plague. And that was before modern germ theory. Eventually it will pass. When all is said and done, Are we going to be able to look at the things that we put out there with such vile hate and vitriol and say, wow, 
I was a fucking hero for doing that. Will the people who come after us look at that shit and go, holy shit, stunning and brave. These were the warriors who helped end the pandemic? Or will they say, wow, what a bunch of fucking assholes. And I'm sure, I'm sure some of it also comes from a place of fear. Because Lord, Lord knows, Lord knows, you know, we had, we had a lot of that come out, you know, from, from the media and, and I mean, every single fucking day it's the, it's so deadly. It's this, it's that, you know, millions of people are going to die. Hundreds of thousands have already succumbed to it. But how does... How does any of this help? Does it help? I don't think so. I think it pushes us farther apart. And I think at the end of the day, most of us are still going to be around, just left blinking at each other after we've drawn our battle lines, erected our forts and fortresses. And we're just going to be standing there. Blades drawn. Pikes out. And what's going to be left of us? You know, there was... I know, I think I've already to told the story... Back when I was in uh, fifth and sixth grade, we had a unit on the uh, Civil War and the Revolutionary War and many other different moments in history. Uh, we're in Kansas, so you best goddamn believe we learned about the Oregon Trail. And I know a lot of you guys are like, what? That has... Kansas is in Oregon. Well, that's because the Oregon Trail, Santa Fe Trail, and a few of, the, of those others ran right through Kansas. And it's kind of one of our big, big uh, touristy things that we like to project onto, you know, the world. Um, but, um... Or was, oh yeah, so the first thing that we learned was, history-wise, was the Revolutionary War. And that unit was called United We Stand. And our teacher drilled into our heads the theme that when we all come together, there is not one obstacle that we can't beat. That as long as we're all working together. Transversely, when we went to the Civil War, the theme was divided we fall. Because the big theme of the Civil War is both, I mean, both areas um, of the, the North and South were ravaged by the war. Some not as bad as others, for sure. But it was ugly. It weakened our country as a whole. And it brought out some of the worst in our in our nation. I mean, if y'all ever get the time, just like read on the prisons of the Civil War. And not just the Confederacy were shitheads about it. Because both sides saw their enemies as traitors. And with traitors who you dehuman, you can fucking do anything. Or at least justify it. It's absolutely disgusting. And some of the worst, maybe not the worst, but some really bad atrocities, human atrocities that happen. And war we'd call them war crimes, for sure, nowadays. Were committed by both sides. 
Because they saw the other side as subhuman. So, and and this, so even when it comes to like, and this is what's happening nowadays. So like, when it comes down to like say, the average lefty, you know, and a and and a Trump supporter, you know, a lot of conservatives aren't Trump supporters, but there are. Trump, uh, there, there are still Trump supporters out there. Um, I mean, they're not like a fucking unicorn. But are you really going to win that guy over by by bashing on him or her and calling them an idiot and a piece of shit and, oh, you're just going to fucking die or whatever. And same thing with, with, you, with you conservatives out there when you're talking to your liberal friends. Are you really going to win them over by calling them a fu- by, by calling them an effing sheep or by saying that they're brain dead morons? Are, are we really going to are we really going to come to any kind of rational consensus or at least meeting in the middle? And I get it. There's certain issues where you don't compromise. The Bill of Rights, for instance, First and Second Amendment, never fucking compromise on that. Shouldn't. We have. For sure. You know? It's happened. Oh, no. Almost out of cider. Anyway... So I get it. Sometimes you don't compromise. And you shouldn't compromise on every single fucking issue. But it should come down to something that's, you know what? Ah, fuck. I'll get him one of these times. Anyway, it should come down to something more than just, well... They won because they're corrupt and they cheated or whatever. And it's really fucking funny because we spent, our country spent years talking about how Donald Trump cheated and stole the election. And then the very time that that was uttered, the other way around, it's suddenly a danger to the United States for us to think that Biden could have, could have cheated to win the election. And I think both claims are bullshit. Right? They probably are. I mean, I don't want to say definitely because, you know, anything, I guess, is possible. And certainly was shenanigans happening. Enough shenanigans um, that I think can be easily explained by people's irrational fears getting the better of them. That happened that night of the election, but I highly doubt, highly doubt it. But I find it fucking hilarious that just mentioning that, with there being a decent level of proof, at least to, maybe not to indict, but definitely to maybe take a look at, that that becomes a danger to the United States. Even though, even though when it was Trump who had won and was accused of cheating, it was based on a... An inaccurate document created by a foreign agent paid for by the opposition's campaign. And that's literally what it boiled down to. So I don't think that... I mean, it is literally viewing the people on the other side like that. Of saying you're a danger to our democracy. For starters... It's not a democracy. It's a fucking republic. Alright? Second. Asking questions. It would never hinder a republic. Ever. Making sure your government is accountable. Whether that be questioning an election. The the integrity of an election. Whether that be saying, "Uh, Well, this guy who's, you know talking here telling us what we should do to control this spread of this disease keeps flip-flopping but it seems like 
the flip flopping isn't consistent, you know. So what's really going on here, bruh? You know, I think those questions are fine. I don't think we should have the mentality of shut up and accept it. I also don't think, though, we should be throwing on our fucking tinfoil hats saying, you know, they're trying to fucking, you know, control us or whatever. But we also have to represent the other side when we're talking to them. You know, I can't tell you how many times... I mean, it's no secret I'm a conservative. I can't tell you how many times when talking to a lefty, the first thing out of their mouth is, well, you're anti-science. What are you? And then I go, what are you talking about? Like, I just provided you scientific study, data, whatever. Well, you're just anti-science. Like, engage with what I'm saying. We go to these quick talking points, and the right does it fucking do, right? We'll complete, people on this side will completely fucking ignore shit because it's not convenient to, to their thing. And whatever happened to saying, you know what, I'll take you for your word for it, I haven't read that study or whatever the hell you're talking about, or I have, and here's my problems with it. Let's just, you know, we can discuss that, but let, but I'd rather keep the conversation going. Here's what I ha find fault with it, and here's something that's, you know, a better turn of study. Because we all have our blind spots. Let's, let's use the Democrats for an example, or the left, right? The same party who says that, we that that conservatives ignore science also do not want to engage with science when it comes to human development when it comes to um a lot of different uh mental illnesses or the whole gender thing or whole the, you know many different areas in which we have scientific data and backing or the constant shifting of the of 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 how we're all going to die of climate change or whatever we all have our blind spots and by just putting some one word or two word buzz phrase like science denial it's not science denial if i say if 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 i have brought up something to you and go well here's something that contradicts what you're saying you know I have not I have yet to hear anyone argue that we should ignore science ever. But here's the problem. We all have our own facts, right? And it's true. You know, if we want to stick on the science fucking science thing, when it comes to human interaction or systems that are influenced by anything to do with biology, there will always be exceptions to the rule. So what may be true in one area of the planet or in one ecosystem isn't necessarily true in another. And that's just enough variance to give you different results. Um, sorry, there's another bug there. But... So I think we need... I guess, you know, I, I kind of went on a rant there, but I think if we're really, if we really give a shit about trying to get people to, to see what we're seeing or to win them over to our side or whatever, whatever you want to think or whatever, whatever, however you want to word it, I think it comes or it should come from a place of, pa of compassion Instead of trying to school our own people. I think it should come from a place of, hey, I see what you're saying. But, here's what I think. I hear you. And I know it's not as, I know it's harder to do that. It is. It is. It's a lot easier just to create somebody's argument for them and attack that. 
it's a lot easier to say, huh, well, you're just anti-science. You know, and go, well, and so here, let me whoop your ass with some real science. But at the end of the day, you're just going to piss the person off and turn them off to anything you ever say ever again. You know, when you tell somebody that they're going to fucking die and that their kids are going to die a horrible screaming death because they didn't put on a piece of cloth. When you go back to your fucking studio apartment in a building and take your mask off that has centralized HVAC that runs to other apartments, spreading whatever air you're breathing all throughout the apartment complex. I think we can safely say we all have our blind spots. And I think we all can safely say that something like that would never bring somebody into your fold, let alone get them to listen to you. Yeah. All right, well, th that went on for a long, longer than I thought it would, but hey, thank y'all so much for watching. I really do appreciate the views. If y'all like what I do, uh, please give me a follow if you're on Twitch, and um, if you're on the YouTubes, please give me a like and subscribe. I really do appreciate all the uh, views and the uh, follows, and... You know, after all, at the end of the day, all these are just words on the wind. Y'all have a good one.